All right, you might think you know how to buy a monitor, but you might not necessarily know everything there is to know about the advantages and disadvantages of the different available resolutions and aspect ratios. So that is the point of today's video. Quickly put, display resolution is the number of distinct pixels that a display device can have displayed on it. It can be described as width by height, with units being measured in pixels. So for example, 1920 by 1080 would mean a width of 1920 pixels and a height of 1080 pixels. Now to be clear, resolution officially more technically means how finely an image can be resolved. And so 4K, even though it's four times as many pixels as 1080p, would actually be twice the resolution if you draw a line and you cross X number of pixels, it would be 2X of 1080p. But since most people don't really think about it that way, we're gonna use the colloquial definition of resolution, which is the pixels by the pixels. Now, when talking about resolution, one can always expect to hear the term aspect ratio brought up along it. This describes the proportional relationship of the image's width and height. So two of the most common aspect ratios historically are 4 by 3 and 16 by 9. 4 by 3 was used in traditional televisions, you know, the ones with the tubes on the back, the kids today might have never even seen one, whereas 16 by 9 was and still is used in digital broadcast TV standards for widescreen. Now that the basics are covered, let's go over some of the, the, the more sort of intricate things, well, it's not really intricate, it's, it's basics, but what you guys might wanna think about if you're shopping for a monitor. So the first one is 1920 by 1080 versus 1920 by 1200. Basically, this is wide versus like wide, but like more tall. So tall wide has a ratio of 16 to 10. And tall wide monitors are, were actually the, the widescreen PC monitor standard until the more TV centric aspect ratio of 16 by nine came along. You can still find tall wide monitors like this ASUS PA248Q, but they are not as abundant anymore, even though some people do prefer them because a little bit of extra vertical space is nice because it gives you just that little bit more for, you know, I don't know, a larger taskbar or something along those lines without taking away vertical space from whatever it is you're reading or working on. Speaking of 16 by 9, which I went off script, so we're not, uh, 1080 versus 1440. What's the deal? Why should I spend more money on a 27 inch 1440 resolution or, or 2560 by 1440 monitor like the BenQ GW2765HT versus a regular 27 inch 1080 monitor? Well, I like to think about it this way. If I'm upgrading from a 1080p 24 inch to a 1080p 27 inch, I'm really just working with the same number of pixels just on a larger screen. So I haven't actually gained any extra screen real estate and the pixels are gonna be much larger. So I'm I'm gonna actually get a worse pixel pitch and lower fineness of the image compared to if I went with a 27 inch monitor that also had a higher resolution to go with its higher size, bigger size. Next up is ultra wide. This guy right here. So we've recently seen an influx of ultra wide monitors such as LG's 25UM65P. These are just monitors that are well, ultra wide. I mean, if you've ever wondered why it is when you watch HD movies sometimes, you see those black bars on the top and bottom, even though you have a widescreen monitor, well, that's because the film industry produces a lot of movies in what is very close to a 21 by nine aspect ratio. And when you're playing certain games or watching these kinds of movies, having a wild field of view like this without bezels in the way, which would happen if you had multiple LCDs in, in Ifinity or Nvidia surround, can be much more immersive. Now, most ultra wide displays are using standard resolutions, but wider, so they're gonna have 1080 vertical pixels, just like a 1080p monitor would, but then they'll have 2560 instead of 1920 wide. And then the same goes for the larger higher res 1440 tall ones that are 3440 wide instead of 2560 wide. All right, so here's a curveball. Up until now, we've been talking about the measurements of all these monitors, usually in terms of vertical pixels, in terms, well, like the industry standard. So it's 1080p, which is vertical pixels. But now, with 2K, 4K, and even 5K, the terminology is changing, which can make things a little bit confusing. 4K, for example, is a, a term for displays that have approximately 
4,000 horizontal pixels. And then 2K would be about 2,000 horizontal pixels or slightly higher resolution than 1080p. Um, and then 3K, 3,000, and so on and so forth. But unfortunately, the, uh, the, the, the 4K standard is not very clear and is often misused. So most consumers, even though they're hearing 4K, are actually usually talking about Ultra HD, which is 3840 by 2160. Actual 4K has slightly more horizontal pixels and is more for professional use at this time. So why not just stick to the old naming scheme? I guess 2160p just didn't have the same ring to it as 1080p did. So yeah, next time you're looking at 4K or 5K displays, keep in mind that that's the measurement of the horizontal pixels or make life easy for yourself and just find out exactly how many horizontal and vertical it has so you have some idea of the fineness of the image you're dealing with. Now, one thing to watch out for with these high resolution displays, especially ones that are physically small but have many, many pixels on them is that not all operating systems handle display scaling very well. So even though in theory, like on Apple's Retina, iMac 5K display, the actual elements are the same size, like text for example, and they're just finer, um, that's not always the case. And Windows, for example, especially some third-party applications, has a little bit of trouble scaling text so that it's actually still readable. And instead of fine, larger text, you end up with very, very, very small text comprised of the same number of pixels. So that's yet another thing to think about when you're shopping for a monitor. Right now, for Windows users, the sweet spot is kind of that 27-inch size 1440p or 34-inch size 1440p, where it still looks very fine, but very readable as long as you have good eyesight. But Something to consider is maybe that 1080p 27 inch monitor is perfect for you because you'd like to have display elements blown up and be able to see them better. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos just like this from NCIX.com. Whoa, sorry, I forgot something. Uh, Jack specifically asked me to say, guys, you have to click here if you want to find out more about any of the LCDs mentioned in this video. And Wheels, if your phone rings one more time while I'm trying to film, then I will be very upset and I will say things on camera about your phone ringing once more.